Yo, what's up, you? We're back, and today, True Business Review is back, and we're doing NFL weekly predictions all year long. Every single week, we'll be going game by game, breaking down which person, which team is going to win the matchup. We'll go matchup by matchup, and we'll keep track of my record every single week. Go join the Discord link down below. Smash the like and subscribe button. Let's get into week one of the NFL season. We got Ravens versus Chiefs. Battle of Titans. Oh, wait. The Ravens. They got Lamar Jackson. They got Zay Flowers receiving core. I'm not convinced it's going to be there. Is Mark Andrews back from his injury last year? Hopefully. I'm going with the Kansas City Chiefs and Pat Mahomes. I know Marquise Brown. I mean, <laughs> the whole Chiefs receiving core, if they're not getting DUIs, if they're not getting hamstring injuries, then they should be pretty solid this season. I really like what I've seen from Xavier Worthy in the preseason. Give me the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead to start off the season. Packers versus Eagles. For some reason, we're heading to Brazil for Friday Night Football Week 1. I don't really know what the NFL is doing with that, but I'll be watching it. I'm an Eagles fan, not biased at all. Obviously picking the Eagles over the Packers. I am kind of concerned though. I like what Jordan Love was doing last season. I like the Packers receiving core. Comment down below, is Dontavian Wicks a wide receiver for or not? I like the Eagles in this matchup. Panthers at Saints, battle of NFC South trash at 1 p.m. So now we're finally at the Sunday night game, or Sunday, Sunday games in the NFL season. Panthers, Bryce Young, you know, they have that one receiver that everyone's saying is lazy. What's his name? Uh, not Xavier Worthy, but that lazy guy. Comment down below again, that guy's name. We got Adam Thielen. The Panthers receiving core, guys. I know they drafted that rookie. The buzz is not good surrounding him, so I'm not convinced that's going to be a good offense. Jonathan Brooks obviously out to at least about week three or four, it sounds like. The Saints, on the other hand, people are sleeping on Alvin Kamara left and right. I think Kamara's going to be a good, you know, a good running back again. This guy has really good receiving upside. People always forget. Derek Carr is kind of buns, but Chris Olave, Alvin Kamara, better than the entire Panthers team, every single player. So give me the Saints. Vikings at Giants. I mean, Daniel Jones went, what, two for 10 with seven interceptions in his first preseason game. Sam Darnold might not be better than Daniel Jones, uh, but it's hard to be worse. So I'm going to go with the Minnesota Vikings. I expect a big breakout game from Justin Jefferson right here. I say breakout game because it's his like 15th quarterback in the last two seasons and I expect him to build some rapport with Darnold very early. Patriots and Bengals. The Patriots, I think Drake May is going to be the starting quarterback, it seems like, over there in New England. But the Bengals, as long as Joe Burrow should be fine, I mean, he's bouncing back from that wrist surgery he had in the offseason. But with Jamar Chase, with T. Higgins, what I really am going to look to see right here is how are they going to utilize Zach Moss and Chase Brown in the backfield. But I think as long as they have, uh, you know, Joe Burrow healthy, as long as they have a solid receiving core healthy with T. Higgins coming back on the franchise deal, the Bengals should smoke the Patriots, win by 15. Steelers and Falcons. This is a very hard game to predict. The Falcons, everyone's super high on them because of Kirk Cousins. Honestly, I think he's a little bit overrated this season, but I do see that he has some upside. Steelers, on the other hand, you know, they're kind of trash for, for everything. Like They're not good in any category. Backfield, I don't like it. Receiving core, Pickens is definitely a bright spot. I really would like to see Justin Fields start the season and start this game. I know Russell Wilson has that huge contract that the uh, was the Broncos are still going to be paying him. But for the Steelers, I mean, Justin Fields is the more expensive quarterback currently if you look at the actual budget. I think Fields would start, maybe because I have him stashed on my roster in fantasy. Uh, but I like the Falcons here. Texans and Colts, AFC South. Now, this is a game where it's going to be a very important game. I mean, we're talking about playoff ramifications day one, week one of the season. Anthony Richardson. He looked like Superman to start off his preseason game, had an insane touchdown drive, and then he went one for seven with two interceptions. Sorry, one interception, but it was a pick six. I mean, not much better. Texans have looked really, really strong in preseason, starting their offense. I mean, Joe Mixon is their new running back. The receiving core got an upgrade. CJ Stroud year two. I know it's in Indianapolis. I mean, this is going to be a tough one to predict. You know, the, the home team should usually win, but I'm going with the Texans right here. And, you know, depending on the spread for this game, if the Colts, I'm guessing the Texans are probably favored by about two or three points. I like them to cover that for sure. Cardinals at Bills. Kyler Murray, more Marvin Harrison. I mean, they got some work to do. Michael Wilson, Kyler Murray. It seems like he has. It seems like he's been injured for years. Like, was did he even play last year? I know he did. Uh, and now he's got that nice receiving core boost. Trey McBride is a good player. I'm not convinced the Cardinals are going to be that good to start the year. Maybe as the year goes on, they'll get better. Buffalo Bills. Receiving core, who's there? Who? Someone, someone, I mean, Keon Coleman, Khalil Shakir, these guys are good luck with the receiving core. But Josh Allen will get it done. The Bills are shooting right here in Buffalo for sure. 
Titans at Bears. Does this game even warrant me predicting? The Titans are so bad. I don't see a single bright spot. I mean, they gave Calvin Ridley a bag, so he's getting paid a lot. The Bears, on the other hand, their receiving core is looking really, really solid. Roma Dunze, personally, out of all the rookie, out of all the rookie wide receivers, I am least high on Roma Dunze. Even though he's looked really good in preseason, you know, he's the bottom of my list. I like Worthy better. I like Brian Thomas better. That's really it. The Panthers receiver, he's worse. Let me tell you, put, put that out there. Uh, but the Bears definitely should still win this game. You got Keenan Allen healthy. <laughs> How long is that going to last? I like Chicago. Jaguars at Dolphins. Another tough one to predict. I mean, really, the Dolphins offense is super high power. But the Jaguars, they're a new look team. Christian Kirk's going to be in a bigger role again this year with Calvary leaving. Brian Thomas has had a couple 40-yard catches in preseason. Trevor Lawrence threw two touchdown passes to Evan Ingram in the last preseason game. I mean, I think the Jaguars can definitely keep up with the Dolphins. Uh, but it's a matter of can they keep up the entire four quarters? And the answer is no. So the Dolphins will win. Broncos at Seahawks. Broncos, who's their starter, man? Bo Nix, he's trash. Everyone thinks he's good. He's, he's trash. He's not good. The Seahawks, Gino, Gino Smith, he's also trash. I mean, two bad quarterbacks, but the receiving core for Seattle, I like a lot better. Uh, I do think Corlin Sonnen might actually have a decent year right here, but I think the Seahawks win this game in Seattle. Raiders at Chargers. We got five games left. The Las Vegas Raiders, man. As much as I'm a Minshew Mania fan, as much as I think Gardner Minshew should be that starting quarterback, and he is, I hope he proves why. I think the Raiders can be a better team this year with Minshew at the helm. He looked good in Philly. He looked good last season as well. He showed some flashes for Indianapolis. I think he can get it done. I'm just going to go with the, the Chargers. I mean, I'd like to see how they're going to use J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards. I think J.K. Dobbins should get the bulk once he's actually fully back from that hamstring injury. But I do think the Los Angeles Chargers win this game. Cowboys at Browns. Dallas Cowboys, uh, they're heading into Cleveland. I really hope the Cowboys lose. But since I'm going 16-0, 18-0, however many games there are, we're going 18-0 at least once this year. That's the goal. Uh, I can't go with the Cleveland. I'm high on the Cleveland Brown, uh, the Browns. I just don't think they get it done against Dallas. So give me Dallas. We got three games left. Commanders at Buccaneers. Jaden Daniels versus Baker Mayfield. I mean, no Jahan Dawson, so the wide receiver two in Washington is Diami Brown, Luke McCaffrey. It ain't looking good. It, it's not. It, it, Al, Al, Alamide Zacchaeus, who? Trash. Buccaneers, solid receiving core. They've been doing this year in, year out. They've had a lot of experience together. I like Tampa Bay right here. You know, kind of, they're going to give Jaden Daniels a nice welcoming to the league. Rams and Lions on Sunday night football. Uh, this is a good game. I mean, this is actually a real good game. We got Matt Stafford and Jared Goff again which we just saw last season in the heavily crucial game. Obviously, the Lions took care of business. I kind of want to, you know, predict a little bit of an upset with the Rams coming in here into Detroit, getting a bit of revenge. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going with the Lions because I want to go 18-0. Jets versus 49ers, final game of the week, Monday Night Football. Aaron Rodgers, will his, will his Achilles last more than two snaps this season? It doesn't matter because they're playing the 49ers. Unlucky, 49ers should handle business here. And that is every single game in week one of the NFL season. Those are predictions. We're going week by week. We got every single week. So make sure you turn on notifications, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. Comment down below who you guys got. Peace out. Thanks for watching.